I'm Dave with Gentleman Rose Club and we're cutting Jay's hair today. We're going to be doing a zero taper, so like a blowout from the neck upwards. Um, we're going to leave the side burns and we're going to trim the top just ever so slightly and get it all moving forward with some nice textured movement. So right, we're just going to wet it through now. Back on that shit, mate. I don't believe it's such a lot. All right, we're just combing this through at the moment so that we get some order. And then from the top here, I'm going to take a section in a V working from the crown. So we're going to comb this in the direction it needs to lie. And then from the base of the head, I'm going to work out a V shape. And that's going to go to the recession area from the crown to the recession area. And then this here, we're going to clip this up. Okay, so it should look like that on top. Right, so he's explained to me already that he wants to keep a lot of the length and he just wants it tidy around the side. What? He likes it deep. He likes it deep, mate, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to literally blow out the taper just around the neck and work up from a, z from a zero to a two. So we've got a zero and it's slightly offset. So I don't want to go too high with it. I'm going to remove the hair from below that. But Right, and what that's given us now is it's given us a base to blend from. So while we're here, take the detailer, we're just going to take that right down. All right, we're going to take a number two guard. Two. Okay, so we've got this, we're going to close it up so it's fully closed. So I'm not going in too harsh with this. I'm literally just taking out a bit of bulk. So at this point, we're looking for balance with that number two. So it needs to be the same height here, the same height here as it comes around. So we're gonna work from all the baselines, basically. We've got a detailer again. And he's told me he wants to keep the sideburns, so we're going to mark these up. So using a reference point on the ear, so I can see it's just level with this. I can come around to the other side, and I can do the same. So I'm just going to take that around the ear now using the corner of the blade. And pull the ear back. We get straight now. So we're getting a nice clear 
outline around the ear. And now I move to the front. So I'm going to rest one finger on the client's head. I'm just going to use that to create a nice crescent. Um, Donald Glover. Mm. Yeah. On this point, we're going to work on the taper now. So we've put a number two in. And we're going to work down the guards. I'm going to find my guard. We've got a number one guard. And it's open, so it's in a one and a half position. And we're going to go up to about there with the one and a half. Flicking out with a C motion so as to not put a line in. Okay, at this point, we're going to drop down to a one, so I'll close that guard so it's in a one. So it's closed in a one position. Uh, we're going to go about half the distance at that that we did with the one and a half. Okay, so we've got 0.5 guard. And we're going to have that in a 0.5 closed. So that is a 0.5 now, but it's obviously with a guard. So it's closed blade. And that's just going to take out a little bit of weight that we've got around the edges here. So we're going to work the sides now, starting from the back, moving towards the front, down either side. So I'm going to start, I'm going to put up a section in the middle here. Now, I'm aware that Jay has said that he, he wants hardly anything off this, and we're just kind of going to texture it and just chip into it a little bit. And I can see there's a little bit that's got to come off there. So, just going to pick it up with my scissors and I'm going to blunt cut it. Just picking up parallel sections. I can see what's got to come off. Okay, so we're just going to blend slightly now with a wide comb and a seven inch scissor. I'm just going to take into the hair, pull out, and use the whole of the blade. We want quite a messy look on this side, so it's not going to be really well blended. I kind of want it to be a little bit shaggy, a little bit weighted. But we're just looking to remove that step. So I'm putting the comb in and I'm pulling out at the last minute. So we've trimmed and blended down the sides and now we're going to cut the top. So because it's forward movement, I'm going to work from the back to the front. Just going to take a section. And we're only looking to just trim the ends. Yeah. Why 
and he wants the thin the the fringe thinned slightly. So the plan there is I'm going to pick the hair up like that and I'm going to deep slice the hair. I'll do the same with this one. Okay, now at this point, I'm just going to texture the hair slightly. So I'm going to pull up and just trim the ends. We're going to use this sea salt spray and we're going to texture the hair. <laughs> mate, you, you missed the best one, mate. There's a, a guy came in, right? His name is Mark, and he had um, no hair. His I was trimming his beard. Chris, mate. His name is Chris. Wow. And, he, and he was having, he had no hair, completely bald, yeah. and just a beard. Just a beard. <laughs> and I went, we're with Steve, and we're cutting Steve's hair. And I put my hand on his head, and he oh, had no, no. hair. <laughs> Right, just gonna dry that through, nice and messy. And then we're gonna take, because the hair is wet at the moment, it's slightly longer. So when it's dry, I'm then gonna have a look at the fringe and see if the fringe needs a bit taken off a bit. I'll also blend slightly around the edges with a 20% thinner, just to take a bit of that bulk out. So we wanna keep the shag kind of look. So I'm just directing heat at the root now get some nice lift on it. Right, dude, so with the front, are you still sh sh want me to take a bit more off that, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's got a nicer shape to it now, right? Just put a bit of shape into it. No, literally, it just, yeah. But I've done it over a couple of years, so it's like, I've always worn my hair up. So at this point now, I can see that it's dry and it's sitting how it wants to sit. So he's told me he wants a bit more off it. So this is the perfect time to cut that now. So if I say about that, yeah. does that feel about right? I'm just going to point cut that. So I'm just taking out a little bit more weight from the, the blend. is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.